All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do like an average block reduction run. Um, first of all, here's my gear. I have like a thicker bow with like 250 DPS. I got it from a ritual, I think. And then just a bunch of gear to fix my resistances. So I'm currently like almost res capped. I'm just missing three off cold res. And then I'm just using uh, rain of arrows. I got a vol rain of arrows from doing a side area. Um, if you do a side area in like act two, you're almost guaranteed to get it because there's only three vol skills, uh, detonate dead, uh, like fireball and rain of arrows. So if you do a side area, you're almost guaranteed to get it. Um, and then so here's how you do a, um, a BA run with the ritual mechanic. I like to do all the rituals. So you just use uh, smoke mine to jump around. And then when you run into a yellow, you can use Vol Rain of Arrows, or you could drop a Ballista. Always go into the side path, like right here, because they always have a loot pack in it. Um, I just saw I missed a ritual, so I'm actually going to loot back and see if I can get it. So you click it, and you drop your Ballistas. And you want to have a Conk Flask, because it will put Consecrated Ground. And if you stand on it, you get regen, and other things take more crit damage. So if you're in a, um, a confined area like the Ritual, then everything's taking more crit damage and your ballistas will be melting up. Don't click boxes unless you have a freeze flask. The thing in the top right is my um, Chaos Recipe Tracker. So I do the Chaos Recipe when I'm in Blood Aqueducts or in like low tier maps. Um, it just tells me like what pieces of gear I need to grab. It like reads your stash type. Okay, and while you're in this, you can press V to look at the um, what you can get, so you don't actually have to wait for it to open up. In fact, I don't even look at them when I'm doing them. After I get it, I just grab the items that drop, and I just move on, and you can look at it while you're running the map by pressing V. So there's no, there's no downtime. Okay, there's three, so here's another one. Drop your Siege Ballistas. Press Vol Rain of Arrows, put Smoke Mine and Consecrated Ground everywhere. Everything will be blinded and then will take crit. You're pretty much invincible if you're res capped. Cool. Uh, let's check what we got. Uh, pretty bad. So once you get to the end of the zone, you can then buy. You don't even have to be out of Ritual Stand to buy stuff. So we'll just go through the zone. I already got uh, two tabulas doing this, so I'm farming Chaos to transition. Once you get to the end of the zone, you press V. And uh, you can see what to buy. I guess I'll buy these because they're the new base type. They look kind of cool. And then I don't really want any of this other stuff. So then you just do a new zone. So I'll do one more run. And then I have um, live searches up for Shroud of the Lightless. In case one comes up for like less than Exalt, I'd probably buy it. And try to link it. So every time one gets posted, it, it, it lets me know. You want to stand as close as you can to this left wall so that you can see on your map if there's um, a leak mechanic on the left side. If you stand close enough, you're able to see from the right half to the left half. So you don't actually have to fully commit going over there. So I like to hug this wall. I'm just using Neversync's filter by the way. And then likewise hug this wall and you'll be able to see a leak mechanic. We have lots of six links. Let's see if we can make room. Mm, no, can't make my first six up, so we're not gonna worry about it. Don't click boxes unless you have freezing you and oh okay. So what I did there is I put a smoke mine down and then I ran to this side to clear it and I took the smoke mine back. Cause I saw there was a strong box there. So that's some some tech you can do. Like I should have done it there, but I don't think I had enough charges. Yeah, I think we missed a few ritual mechanics, I'm not sure where they were. Unless they're all packed in at the end here. Oh, there's one over here. So remember, there's always a blue pack down these side paths, so you always want to go down those. Click this, drop ballistas, put consecrated ground, and then put your smoke mines and they crowd it they create a cloud, and nothing can hit you. Everything has not no one has enough accuracy to hit you, and it, they're all taking big damage, so. It's a pretty solid build for this mechanic. Okay, we missed a ritual, I'm not sure where it was, but... I'm not sure what that's worth, 1C. 
Yeah, I guess we'll take it. Cool. So that's how I do blood aqueducts. Where, how do I end this? There we go.